First, let's start at the portfolio level. And I mentioned that having portfolio reporting that gives you a, a simple, quick understanding of how your projects are doing and how your portfolio is doing uh, can be easily handled in SharePoint and Brightwork. So here's an example. Uh, on an, we're on an office page here. So we're at a portfolio level, a project office, Lures Bay project office. And we have a set of dashboards here. One is project summaries. And the second is we have key metrics for the portfolio. So let's look at the project summaries here first. What I see at a glance is I have a set of projects and each one has key performance indicators that are telling me how they're doing overall, their health, how they're doing in terms of schedule, and how they're doing in terms of cost. Now these metrics can be set up to, uh, to reflect whatever is important to you specifically. It might be the number of open issues. It may be uh, how we're doing between planned duration and current duration. Um, these are the most common ones, cost, time, and things like that, or the number of issues. And so it's very easy to tell here which projects are doing okay and which ones aren't and what's going on and why are they not doing well. Right above that is reporting that supports how the portfolio doing, is doing overall. And there have been some performance indicators that have been set up to, uh, to map to. Now, these would look at um, the number, this would look at averages across the portfolio. For instance, if the average uh, or the number of late projects exceeds a certain level, then this indicator, this key uh, metric will change color. It's changing to red. And if the average number of open issues across the portfolio has reached a certain level, then this quality metric is turning to yellow. There's also one that's looking at the risk level across the portfolio. So the average risk score across all the projects is being calculated. And as we reach a certain risk exposure level, it is telling us that we're starting to get into more risky, uh, the portfolio is in a, in a more risky condition. So those are just examples of some of the quick dashboards that tell you right away how your, your portfolio is doing. Some other reporting that is easily set up at the portfolio level and the office level. Here's a look again, utilizing indicators to quickly tell how I'm doing and grouping them in an appropriate way so that I can quickly see how the portfolio and the projects are doing, including what their progress is, whether they're late or not. These are all uh, ways of leveraging key performance indicators in a view might even focus on just the ones that are in trouble. And so this is going to show me that they, I have four projects that are in trouble and what's going on with them. And if I need to, I can drill into the specifics of the project. And I'll, we'll go to the project site here in a minute. 